All right, so it's time to do one other really important touch, and that is putting a rodent barrier at the bottom of the garden bed. So when you're pre-building them like this in the shop, it's really easy to just tilt the bed up onto its side and attach the hardware cloth directly onto the bed. We use a quarter inch hardware cloth and that'll even keep the smallest mice out. So here in Tucson, we have an issue with ground squirrels and if they get up under the garden bed, they can really cause a lot of problems. So we want to prevent that right now. So we'll go ahead and tilt this up. And the tools we're gonna to wanna to use for this are a grinder. I'm using the same grinder I had, got out of that Makita kit that I got. So this is a battery powered one, which is really nice. We also have a corded one too, but I like this for this type of thing. Our other tool is a DeWalt stapler. So this is really effective at just putting these construction staples. These are T50 staples, and we'll use that to get those into the bottom of the garden bed. Yeah, staplers are great for this. A lot faster than having to use screws. So now that that's done, we just have to trim off the extra that we have here. And I'll trim this top edge a little bit too so that it, you can't see it from the outside of the garden bed. So just get a nice little line right here. This stuff is pretty easy to cut. Rodents aren't getting into this garden bed. Not from the bottom. <laughs> All right, we did it. Garden bed is basically ready to go. And uh, we're gonna do a couple more things to this and you know, we'll show you on a future video how to put a bench on the edge and that'll make this a little bit more comfortable to sit on. And it looks really nice too. So we're gonna use a Redwood 2x6 to do a bench um, on the next video. And also we'll be sanding and staining this garden bed and uh, another video coming your way for that as well. But up to this point, I hope you've learned a lot. Some of the little woodworking tips and tricks that you can apply to this type of project or to maybe some other around your home. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.